Hello guys, in this video uh, we're gonna do uh, the tutorial on multi-sim which is basically simulating a very simple uh, logic circuit in multi-sim, okay? So uh, multi-sim of course is a very famous uh, circuit simulation. It can do analog circuits and also digital circuits or logic circuits, okay? So we're gonna do simulation for the circuit that you guys see on the screen in here. And we're going to follow the tutorial that is published basically online to do that on your course. Okay. So first, how to open uh, multi-sim. Basically, go to the search menu here in Windows and just write multi-sim. It should appear to you. You just choose it. And here we go. Okay. So uh, we're going to do this from scratch. So I'm going to just delete everything in here. Okay and do step by step with you right now okay so what we want to do first to uh, input or like a place uh, two switches so our circuit that we want to implement has two inputs a and b so we're gonna just follow the tutorial in here so we're gonna go to place component and choose basic basic and choose switch and use SPST switch we want two of these so i'm gonna place one in here okay again one in here and just close okay that's the first step we're gonna name one of them b and the other one is a so we're gonna name this guy b uh, click okay we're gonna name this guy a and click OK. Okay, that's the step in here. Uh, then we want uh, a VCC, an input source, voltage source. Okay, and also ground. So place again, uh, component, and choose sources. So, so yes, in here, sources. Uh, power sources, we need a ground. Okay, that's the guy, that's the ground. And we need also VCC, so it's in here. Here is the VCC, it's five volt and the close. Okay, that's very good. Now we want two resistors. So again, blaze component. What else we need for the two resistor? I think, I think yeah, in the resistors is not mentioned where exactly they are, or maybe mentioned in the text here but not as an image so it's basically in basics uh, so we need the resistors and we need 3.3 kilo ohm resistors this is the one so we need two of these and click close we need them to be vertically aligned so right click on each one and rotate 90 degrees right click rotate 90 degrees then we connect the circuit so we connect the first resistor to the VCC, then this one, R1 to B, R2 to Mr. A, then both A and B switches to the ground. Nothing more simple. Okay, uh, what else we need? Yeah, we need now the logic gates. We need an inverter and an end gate. So place again component let's did the invert let's do the inverter first so we're gonna go to CMOS and 74 HC family underscore six volt six V and for the inverter uh, this is okay this is an uh, the end gate let's uh, as end gate is the next step next step 10 so we can start by step 10 then we go to step 9 it's it's uh, so we can swap them so for the AND gate we need uh, 74HC underscore 6V family and this uh, particular AND gate that we need is 74HC 08N underscore 6V that's the one and we press OK and we place it uh, OK we place it for example here OK by the way this is uh, like an IC, integrated circuit. So that usually when you buy discrete logic circuits like an IC, 
it has more than one and gate inside that one has four so we need just one so what do you do you choose any one of these letters which represent four uh, each one represent an and gate so for example we choose d okay and right left click again then we press escape in the keyboard that's it we blazed it then we need uh, the uh, the inverter so the inverter six same family but different i see here seven four hc zero four n yeah that guy yeah again okay here is the ic that we need you can place it here again this ic has six inverters so we need just one just to choose any one of these letters each one represent one inverter so this guy for example and you put it here okay then we press don't, don't press cancel if you press cancel it's gonna be removed so just press escape okay and the press close that's it we have the inverter we have the end gate now lastly we need what's called uh, indicator so let's first like connect the circuit Okay, so the inverter is connected to uh, the switch A, so that node here, and uh, then the output of the inverter goes to the the bottom input of the AND gate, and the first the top input of the AND gate is connected to Mr. Uh, B switch B. Then you can make it more beautiful like that. Okay, even more beautiful like that. Okay. Okay, what's next? We need then an indicator. This indicator will be will be like it's like a LED, LED, like a lamp. So when you have a current, it, it's gonna glow. Okay, uh, it's gonna light uh, or turn on the light. If there is zero, no current, it's gonna just dim, no light. Okay, so where is this indicator? Place component. And there is indicators here. There is a family called the indicator or group called the indicators. And we need this probe here. Okay. That's it. And we connect it. Close first. We connect it to the output of the AND gate. Okay. Then we're going to simulate. Okay. We're going to simulate. So, okay. So this is... Uh, an older version of multi-sim which you have this switch in here we don't have this switch but we have this this button okay okay the first so we have four inputs here we have a and b two switches two switches so if with the combination we have four inputs because we can have four combinations like zero 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 one one zero one one okay so uh a and b using this circuit can be zero or, or one how for example let's start by a or b let's do b whatever for b if we want b to be zero we just close the switch like that just click on it that means look look now what's happening this is b look it's directly connected to the ground so it's forced it to be zero also if the switch is open like that okay b which is here this second this right terminal of the switch will be connected to the vcc through the 3.3 kilo ohm that's why it's it's gonna be one okay so switch open that means the input is one switch closed that means the input is zero and same for a same for a. so we have four inputs zero 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 one one zero one one so let's start by zero 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 means both switches are closed then we do like that look now by by default the indicator is high okay look what happened when we press simulate oh the indicator goes off dim no light that means there is no current it's zero the output of the and gate is zero let's let's analyze this so we closed the bo both switches so a and b are zeros so the first the highest the top input of the and gate has a zero right has a zero regardless of the second input zero and anything will give you zero that's why we have a zero here okay so the second case second case is zero in b one in a so we keep switch 
be uh, closed and we open switch A. I'm sorry, uh, we should first uh, end the simulation. I'm very sorry for this. We should end the simulation. Now, let's do the second case. Zero in B, one in A. Okay, let's uh, simulate. Again, it's dimmed. That's why that means the output is zero. How? Let's analyze it. So B is zero again. So zero for the top input of the end gate, zero and anything, whatever whatever voltage here, the, the output will be zero. So again, it's dimmed. Let's stop the simulation. Let's go to the third case. In the this is so this is the second case. Here is the uh, third case in which we do the opposite. We make A closed, B open. Okay, so B is one now and A is zero. Okay, let's simulate this. Oh, it's lighting now. Okay, it's on. There is light. So what's happening? Let's analyze it. So B is one. So the top input of the AND gate is one. That's good. But for the AND gate to give one, the second input should be also one. Let's analyze it. So A is zero. Zero is going to the input of the inverter. The inverter, what it does, it just invert. So the one will be, I'm sorry, the zero will be one here. So the second input or the bottom input of the AND gate is, is one now. So one and one give you one. That's why the uh, the, the LED or the indicator uh, is giving light now. Is uh, okay. There is one in the output. Okay, let's stop simulation. The last case. This one here. Both are one. So both are in, uh, both are both both switches are open. So let's uh, simulate. Oops. It's again dimming. Okay. B is one, uh, B is or oh, switch B is open. Let's check so if B is if the switch is open, that means B is one connected to this C and, and one. So the, the top input is one. A is open. So again, A is one. One going to the inverter before the end gate. So the, the inverter, what it does, it inverts. So the one here will be zero here. So zero and one is zero. That's why the, uh, the lid is zero or is not lighting okay that's it guys this is the first experiment of that tutorial in the next uh, video we're going to show you the same experiment while to using some uh, advanced feature you know that enable us to do this variation 0110 in a more easy way okay thank you very much for watching and see you in another video bye bye